the Daniel Shep House and the saving of the Daniel Shep House was a turning point for this town. Here you had uh, a Victorian home, not just a Victorian home, but an Eastlake Victorian home, an original Eastlake, and not just an original Eastlake Victorian home. It's a center turret Victorian home, very, very rare. It is probably the only center turret Victorian house in Tamaqua and in the, in the whole area. When we purchased the house, it was not in uh, real good shape. We were going to tear down the house, make a parking lot of the entire area. Instead, uh, the community said to us, could they buy it? And uh, we were able to make it work for both them and for us. At present, the uh, house is owned by a lawyer, and uh, we get along fine with him, and uh, he actually rents the lot from us on weekdays, and then we use it nights and uh, on the weekend. So that it works out really well for both of us. We weren't involved in the restoration itself. Um, I ended up opening a law practice on the second floor back in 2005. Um, like the building, very cozy building. Partnership did a great job restoring it. Uh, but ultimately what happened is we outgrew it, we went to the partnership, and we told them we have a couple of choices. You know, either you can sell us the building, you can kick out the tenants downstairs and let us rent the entire building, or uh, we would have to move because we had outgrown the building. Uh, the partnership and, and, uh, and myself negotiated, came to a price. Um, so we bought the building, I think, roughly in 2007 or 2008. You know, since then, we've continued to revamp it, um, you know, putting in, for example, a new heating system, replacing some of the windows, uh, et cetera. But we plan on keeping it pretty much the same way that it is now. Um, the, the thing the partnership did nice, I think, uh, were the colors of the building. When I first moved in, I kind of looked at it and said, eh, uh, the colors have grown on me. So the partnership did a, a very good job with that. So when the partnership purchased the property, um, they didn't purchase all of it. They only purchased the Shep House itself. Uh, the parking lot, they did not purchase. That, was, uh, that is still owned by Bethany Church. We lease it off the church. Uh, the church is happy for that. They get some income. We're happy. Um, we obviously end up having the parking lot. I say it was a turning point for the town because it, it was an issue that played out in the local media and the regional media to the extent that one man even from the nearby city of Allentown, about 35 miles south, wrote a letter to the editor and explained that this will define Tamaqua's future, this meaning the issue with the Shep House. How, what becomes of the Daniel Shep House will indicate whether Tamaqua moves forward in, in a mode of preservation or will Tamaqua become just another town that's not so mindful of its past? And I think when you look back now, having oh, the advantage of all these years um, since that issue, um, I think it, it provides a good example of how you can have good people on both sides of an issue able to reach compromise as long as they're willing to negotiate with each other in good faith. Music